Hey everyone, this is Joe in general, your resident reason and evidence enthusiast. This is your weekly Bitcoin price analysis update. It is Wednesday the 12th of April 2017. Now in this video I will be of course talking about Bitcoin, what's happening uh, in the last week. But uh, at the end of this I'll also touch upon an altcoin, which I think may be an idea for you guys to at least watch, keep an eye on and potentially put a buy order in for some short term gains. Now onto the Bitcoin analysis. Last week, the video was entitled, Are We Done? And I was asking the question, are we done with 891? Will we ever see this low again of 891? And I was positing that we most definitely will not. Um, I still think that is the case. Now I'm also going to add to that. I think there's another, another level which we will not see a significant um, pierce below ever again. But just before I get onto that, of course, we're using the bitcoinwisdom.com website. This is the Bitstamp exchange and it's priced in US dollars. Now, what, uh, where we were last time, we we're at about $1,130 USD. And what I was saying is in order for me to be uh, comfortable that we weren't going to see uh, much lower prices, I wanted to see the price um, come up through the 61.8 Fibonacci level, and that's from this high of 1350 and this low of 891. I wanted to see it pierce up through the 61.8% level and start trading between 61.8 and 78.6. Now we've certainly started that journey. We have uh, since we've busted through 61.8, and we're currently hovering about halfway between 61.8 and 78.6 at a dollar level of between 11.75 and 12.50. Now there's a few major points that could happen from here. Now what certainly will not happen is the price will not go crazy hog wild um, and never see any slightly lower prices. We don't just go up and up and up. We don't just have um, green candles every single day. Um, we will see a little retracement. Um, the question is, where could we see retracements to? So in the short term, we could certainly see a, a retracement. This is the third day, uh, the three day time chart. We could see a retracement down to uh, between the 50% level and the 38.2% level, so between 1120 USD and 1066 USD, and that's um, yeah a very healthy kind of uh, retracement. I wouldn't it wouldn't be a cause for too much concern because it certainly happened uh, previous. So if you take a look at this. Uh, previous little um, retracement here. It uh, came off the low from the bottom end of the trend channel, uh, came up through here, and then had a little bit of a retracement again over the three day time chart. And then it just went straight back up making new highs. So seeing a retracement back down to say 1120 or 1066, perfectly healthy and almost something that you do want to see because uh, you, you've got to get worried when you start seeing exponential movements up. So that's where I think we, we could go. That's sort of the most likely area in the very short term over the next, mm, I'd say the next few days, we'll probably see a test here, of course, uh, of the 78.6 at currently at 12.50 USD. So we will see a touch upon that. And then, yeah, possibly likely back down to the 50% level. The other thing uh, that could be happening um, and I, I talked about this in, in the last video, is we could see, absolutely see, a, um, a retracement back down to this lower end of the trend channel. However, what I was saying before about 891 being a level that I don't think we'll ever see again, there's one more level I don't think now, I'm 90% sure we're not going to see this level uh, significantly pierced below ever again, and that is the, drum roll please, that is the $1,000 threshold. We could visit it again, but I don't think we're going to see a significant pierce below. I think that's uh, pretty much in the rear view mirror now. But the one setup that could occur, and I was talking about this last week, is if we take a look at December of 2016, um, what happened is uh, we came off this high, we went back down to the low, hit the lower end of this uh, trend channel here. You guys have seen that before. And what happened was, we did come back up to the, uh, if we take the 
the uh, Fibonacci level I drew it in before of 502 and the low of 293. It came all the way back up to the 78.6 uh, level percentile at approximately $450. And instead of piercing above and making new highs straight away, it consolidated a little between the 61.8 and 78.6 levels. And then over a period of time, we went bang all the way back down. Now we didn't go back down to its breakout point, but we did see uh, the bottom end of the trend channel touched. And then it sort of came back, came back up and touched the trend channel again, the lower end. So that's something that we could also see happening over a longer period of time. We could see uh, it come up to here, 1250, uh, or let's say 1260, because that is a previous resistance point right there. So we could certainly see a touch of between 1250 to 1260, and we could see a range between uh, 1175 and 1260, you know, going up and down uh, for a little, and then we could see a touch back down here uh, of this bottom end of the trend channel, of around about, you know, above $1,000. Potentially it could hit $1,000, um, but I think if it's going to retrace down back to the bottom end of this trend channel, it's not going to happen for a little bit. I don't think we're going to see a sharp decline unless there's some news that comes out um, that really negatively affects the price. So that's my call, as, as I said last week, definitely not 81, uh, 891. 90% sure, not going to see a significant pierce below $1,000 USD. Could touch it, come down to this bottom end of the trend channel. But the most likely scenario, I think, at this stage is, you know, a, a slight retracement, a healthy retracement back down to the 50% or this 38.2, so 1120 or 1066. And then maybe just a trading range for a little bit and then uh, off to the races uh, later on. Now for a longer term um, view of where I think the price is going to go over 2017 uh, in total, uh, do check out my channel and check out this video in particular. It is called Bitcoin Price Prediction for 2017. As the name suggests, it's talking about where I think the price will go over 2017. And uh, here's the cheat sheet. It's going higher. Uh, but where it's going to, we'll check out that video uh, for that uh, Bitcoin price prediction. Now on to an altcoin, uh, which I think you guys should just have a little bit of a look at. Um, if you're not in the altcoin market yet, have a think about getting into the altcoin market. It's a great way to up your Bitcoin without outlaying extra cash. So what you're doing is you're trading Bitcoin that you already own and you're trading it for other altcoins and then you're buying and selling between Bitcoin and whichever altcoin uh, you're trading with. So the one I want you to take a look at, uh, this is the Poloniex website here. And I want you to take a look at this one here called Einsteinium. What a cool sounding altcoin name, Einsteinium. I really like this. Um, and I'll tell you the reason why. So this is where we are here. Um, again, this is trading your Bitcoin for altcoins and then selling it back for more Bitcoin. Hopefully you buy low and sell high. So get more Bitcoin without outlaying, you know, extra USD, AUD, you know, cashola fiat currency. So we're currently trading at around about 500 and where are we? The last price was 517. Now, to me, this looks like a nice little setup for higher prices. Um, look at this nice little um, highs and lows, you know, um, higher highs and lower lows. It looks like it's going to have a bit of a breakout, I think. Um, but let's pull out, this is the one day time chart. Let's pull out to where it's gone previous. So you have a look here. Again, because this is the one day time chart, let me zoom in a little bit, see if I can get this clearer. I know you guys are, some of you are using, uh, you're watching this on mobile or cell phone uh, for you Americans out there. Um, this is the one day time chart. So every green candle here represents one day's worth of trading. And what you'll notice is we had a low here. Uh, it's around about, you can't see the, the price over here, but it was about 61. And over a number of days, we had quite an exponential rise all the way up to 770. That is a massive rise, a massive rise. And what normally happens is after quite a very quick, massive rise, you see a quick, um, uh, a quick crash back down to close to previous uh, the previous breakout point. So we did see that. So whenever you see a exponential rise, you tend to see a very quick um, head back down to 
previous um, breakup points. Now that happened. And then we had another one, not too long after that. And then a little one here, a short term one. Let me pull back out here. And since then, it's sort of been trading up and down, up and down as it normally does. But now if you have a look here, instead of a green, a lot of, you know, um, an exponential rise, it's happening a little bit slower. So it's more like, you know, little steps up. It's certainly having little spikes and then back down, but it's certainly not these exponential rise. So I think this is a good setup here. Let me zoom back in. I think this is a good setup for some short term gains. Now, short term, I'm talking with the altcoin market, you know, gains can happen in an hour. You know, you could go to bed. Um, not buy and then oh, I'll buy tomorrow and then you wake up and the price is a hell of a lot higher and you go ah oh, damn why didn't I buy um, but I think we could have uh, another rise up at least to this previous interim high and that's set at uh, where are we that last pro the high 24 hour uh, that's at 602 I believe it is no high of 620 so you could definitely see uh, a touch up to 620. However, what you also need to do, you need to take into account what the trading volume is like at certain prices. So these are the sell orders. So these are obviously for the real uh, rookies here. These are people who have uh, bought Einsteinium and they've put in their sell orders. So here's the level where we currently are about 506 now. And if you have a look, the amount of Bitcoin being sold is not a huge amount. So that's a pretty good indication, um, you know, um, that there's n people, not a lot of people willing to sell yet. However, when you go down and when you go down, you're actually looking at the price going up. When you go down here, we get up to 600. Where are we right here? And bang, we've there all of a sudden got some large sell volume here. Uh, there's 596 at one Bitcoin's worth. Uh, but here at 600, that's a big, it's called a sell wall, a very big sell wall. That's 11 Bitcoin's worth. Now, this could be a genuine sell wall or it could be a fake sell wall. What some people will do, some uh, people who have very deep pockets, what they might do is they'll just take say let's 10 or 11 bitcoins and just put it in at 600. Now they might not be actually wanting to sell those bitcoins but they're trying to make they're trying to put an artificial um, wall on the price and the, the reason they could be doing that is because they're trying to accumulate at lower prices so they put this big sell wall here and people like me or people like you sell this whoa at 11 bitcoin oh it's not going to go higher than that for quite a while um, so that kind of suppresses the price but what could happen uh, it could be a fake one and they're accumulating at these lower levels and then when it starts to rise back up when it starts to rise back up to where are we? when it starts to rise back up here uh, back up to you know closer to 550 570 particularly here at 570 580 you might suddenly see that that sell wall or you know, quite magically disappears now that's if it is a fake sell wall, but it could be a real sell wall, so you never know. So the question is, uh, well, not the question is what the probably the good idea is. Maybe consider buying somewhere around here. Do your own due diligence, of course, and then have a have a think about putting a short term sell order around about your 600 mark, but not at 600, maybe a little bit below. So 598, 597, 596, maybe even stagger your sell orders, put a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit there, and gradually do it up till, you know, up close up to 600. And what might happen, of course, again, do your own research. What might happen is the price may come up to this 600 mark and then have a sell-off. So maybe you got your sell orders in at 597, 598, and you've traded your Einsteinium back for Bitcoin and you've upped your Bitcoin because you bought it here and you sold it here. And then you might see another slow, a slight uh, retracement back down. So then you can buy in again and you can um, do that process again. Of course, you after you sell, you'd want to see where the price is going. If it has a big dip down here, then of course it might not be a good idea to buy again but just watch the market. And if it does have a slight retrace, you buy back in again. And then if it starts going back up again, there could be, uh, there could be an indication that we might be seeing 
uh, the price going to the previous highs of the 770. But in the short term, uh, my non-financial advice, but what I am doing, um, and of course, do your own due diligence, is I'm going to be buying around about here in the 500. I actually already have some Einsteinium. I bought it around about the 500 mark. I think it actually was a little bit before because I liked this setup. And I'm going to be placing a sell order at a little bit below the 600 mark and then just uh, wait for a small retrace and possibly buy back again uh, if the chart looks good enough. So that's an altcoin. I certainly have some other altcoins as well. I will do uh, some more videos on altcoins too uh, at the end of every weekly Bitcoin price analysis update. So that's it. Thank you very much. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Stay safe, stay informed. Speak soon.